We've always been the home for developers, and that's not changing. Now, we're adding agents with developers and agents working together in Agent HQ. GitHub Copilot is now a fully fledged coding agent, far beyond autocomplete. It now operates with deeper context, stronger reasoning, and the ability to execute and coordinate tasks across the developer workflow. Why not also have Claude and Codex in your Agent HQ as well? Or what about coding agents from Google Cognition or XAI? That's right, Agent HQ is welcoming every coding agent to GitHub. So starting with these coding agents and coming later this year, we're partnering with Frontier Labs and startups to bring their coding agents onto the GitHub platform. Agent HQ offers a single place to start, steer, and manage sessions from all of them across the web, IDE, CLI, and even mobile. It's your favorite coding agent's favorite platform. And it's all available with a Copilot paid subscription. Use any of the Agent HQ coding agents coming later this year to help you manage and take advantage of all of these coding agents. We've extracted core functionality from Copilot's coding agent to provide a new platform to build on top of. New branch controls. So you control when agent-generated code is run. Each agent has a full, real identity on GitHub, meaning you can give it access to only what you want, assign it issues and pull requests, and even mention it in comments. Each agent can build on top of our existing compute layer with GitHub Actions. And you get enterprise-grade AI controls to manage access, set security policies, and audit agent activity on GitHub. Agent HQ is a single command center across every coding agent you use. From a new single view of mission control, you can see all of the sessions from your agents across your projects. You can assign new tasks, track progress, and review the code as it's written. You can even spin up new sessions wherever you choose to work. You can move from the CLI to the web, the web to the IDE, and work wherever it makes sense for you. We're building a single way to work with coding agents, giving them the right context about you and your work, and most importantly, giving you control. You can connect to core services like Figma, Sentry, or Atlassian Jira via their MCP servers and the GitHub MCP registry. Your Copilot coding agent runs right on GitHub Actions, giving the agents their own hosted development environment to build and test changes before asking for your review. But for some of you, we've heard loud and clear, that's not quite enough. So starting today, Copilot Coding Agent is able to run on your self-hosted runners, the same ones you use for CICD. And GitHub Copilot must have all the most powerful features of GitHub. So we've integrated code security with CodeQL, dependency scanning, and secret protection as tools Copilot can run on every task. Speaking of tasks, we're also introducing custom agents. So you can tailor Copilot for specific scenarios like writing documentation or doing test-driven development. But I have another surprise for you. Wouldn't it make sense for you to use the most powerful agents where you spend the most time in your editor? Access to Codex is available in preview on VS Code Insiders today for Copilot Pro Plus users. And all the agents from all these partners will be available in Agent HQ later this year with more details coming soon. Now, on to our flagship editor for GitHub Copilot, VS Code. In the last six months, we've been working together with the community. We've shipped nearly 200 improvements to Copilot in VS Code. Full MCP support, letting Copilot understand your entire stack and not just the files in front of you. Custom rules, where you define the standards you want Copilot to follow when generating your code. Slash commands to share common prompts and repeatable workflows across your team and enhanced semantic code models to give Copilot deeper context and a smarter grasp of your code stored on GitHub. Today, 
we now ship new models to Copilot customers as soon as the Frontier Labs release them. Models like Claude Sonnet 4.5 and GPT-5 Codex shipped the same day. VS Code extensions, such as Hugging Face and Azure AI Foundry, can further expand your choices, giving you the ability to use other model providers outside of your Copilot plan. You can connect to hosted model providers like Open Router or run local models through tools like LM Studio. And sometimes all that choice can be overwhelming, and we now have Auto Mode, where Copilot will choose what it thinks is the best model for your task. These models aren't only about features, they're about how development feels. And today, we're releasing a new version of VS Code and GitHub Copilot. And I want to start by talking about one of my favorite new features, plan mode. The most successful teams use Copilot to create something akin to a requirements document before getting started. But now, plan mode lets you work with Copilot to build a step-by-step -step approach for your task, asking you clarifying questions along the way. This quickly improves what Copilot can do by helping you find gaps, missing decisions, or project efficiencies early in the process before any code is written. Once approved, it takes your plan and gives it to Copilot to start implementing, whether that's locally in VS Code or using one of your agents in Agent HQ. Starting this week, you can at mention GitHub in Slack to kick off an agent task. Just tag GitHub in a thread with colleagues and ask it to fix a bug or spark the idea that you've been working on, and Copilot will get started. And it's not just Slack. You can already collaborate with Copilot and Teams or kick off tasks from Azure Boards, Raycast, and starting today with Linear. We launched Copilot Code Review as our first pass, giving you meaningful reviews of pull requests. But it simply wasn't enough. So you can use the new agentic Copilot Code Review right now. And for our enterprise admins in the room, you can turn it on today in your enterprise by enabling it within your preview features. We could solve every single problem in software development. We haven't yet, but it won't matter if developers at work can't use the best parts of GitHub. This means making sure your boss or your boss's boss and the governance teams have the tools and controls they need to introduce Copilot into your company, all while showing the ROI. And we've done that in three really big ways. The first is code quality. It's no good shipping more code if that code isn't great. Quality is more than just a passing review because a core problem is that looks good doesn't mean is healthy. Otherwise, we'd never have any bugs found in production or live site incidents. And that's where GitHub code quality comes in. It extends Copilot to look at the maintainability and reliability impact of the code that's changed right inside the pull request itself. We're working with a set of customers to make sure we're providing something useful for engineering leads and something that's actually loved by developers. So the team's excited to get this into public preview, hear your feedback, and help keep your code high quality at scale. Next up, something I know I've gotten plenty of feedback from our customers on is Copilot metrics. Today, I'm pleased to announce the public preview of Copilot Metrics Dashboard. This dashboard shows the impact of using Copilot and any coding agent across your entire organization, helping give you access to the information about how your company is using Copilot. This gives you much needed guidance and advice on what makes sense to measure to drive real impact, as well as an easy way to get started with a dashboard and dive deep with API access. You can use the Copilot Metrics dashboard today with public preview with your existing Copilot business or Copilot Enterprise subscriptions. Finally, we need to make sure you have the AI controls you need for your enterprise to manage your Copilot deployment and use all of what we shared today, new models and future features as we build them. With AI controls, we're giving you a clear control plane for Copilot and in the future across all of Agent HQ. All of this from a single enterprise-wide admin interface available to administrators and to trusted delegates via a new custom role. Today, we're starting with highly requested controls 
to centrally manage your agents and to find a shared location for custom agent profiles to be stored. View agent audit logs so you know which user kicked off an agent, what that agent did, and to track it down like you do other events on GitHub. And control what parts of your code base agents can and cannot access, and which features are available to your teams. These new AI controls show our renewed commitment to enterprises, so they can turn on the features they want with increasingly granular control all in a single place.